If you're looking to reduce swelling and water retention or overall want to enhance your immune system and help aid in the detoxification processes within your body, today's specific dietary related video is going to be hugely helpful at promoting lymphatic drainage within your body. I'm gonna share with you 10 awesome foods right now. So let's dig right on in. I love promoting your lymphatic system and one of the easiest ways is to change up or add in some things into your diet that will help promote your lymph system. Number one, coming in hot in the number one spot is ginger. Ginger is a proven anti-inflammatory and it is shown to promote lymphatic process and move the lymphatics. I love to recommend this herb in both a tea form as well as in a regular spice or cooking process. So however you can add ginger, add it to your daily diet and you will actually notice lymphatic process movement, meaning you're gonna urinate a little bit more frequently and notice some pounds shedding from your scale. Ginger's great for promoting lymphatic drainage. Number two, right behind ginger is an herb called turmeric. Turmeric is an ancient medicinal and it has known properties to help enhance blood circulation and promotes lymphatic flow. It's another anti-inflammatory and in unison with ginger, you can take turmeric through spices, you can sprinkle it on foods, or you can drink like a golden milk recipe that I love. So turmeric is another lymphatic promotive herb. Number three is garlic. Garlic has a specific anti-inflammatory that is powerful at minimizing the overload or burden your lymphatics has for just overall decreasing some of the need for your lymphatic process to drain because of external inflammatory reasons within your body. Number four is pineapple. Pineapple has a specific enzyme called bromelain that is really great at promoting lymphatic flow. Bromelain in pineapple, I love to recommend eating fresh pineapple, fresh pineapple juice, but when necessary, even packaged pineapple juices and packaged sliced pineapple and even dried pineapple will give you the bromelain we want to take to enhance your lymphatic process. This enzyme is really great for a lot of my post-operative patients that need to promote the lymphatics and it also helps the lymphatics reduce the burden of bruising or excess blood that is needed to be removed by the lymphatic process. That actually is a thing. If you're curious about that, I have a whole bunch of lymphatic video content down below that you can check out how to move the blood flow and circulate your blood better in your legs and ankles where it tends to pool for a lot of folks. Number five is to enhance your intake of citrus foods. Citrus foods, these bioactive flavonoids are really good for promoting lymphatic drainage. Being from Florida, I always recommend having either some sort of citrus fruit in the morning or drinking a beverage like a pink or red grapefruit juice or having a tangelo or tangerine with your breakfast. Citrus is really good for promoting your lymphatics. Number six is a fruit lesser known for its lymphatic drainage process and enhancement is cranberry. Cranberry actually is an emulsifier, a fat emulsifier. And little do most people know your lymphatic process, your lymphatic system is draining and detoxing out and removing excess fat. And that fat can actually congeal and cause clogging. So a, an emulsifier like cranberry can help break that up and move promote the flow. So the more flow we get, the easier the process is, the better drainage process. So reach for cranberry. I like the fruit. I like cranberry spreads over cranberry juices because they have less sugar in them, but definitely reach for cranberry. Even cranberry extract is great. Number seven is my favorite herbal tea to recommend, and that is reaching for a dandelion tea. Dandelion is a great lymphatic promoter by way of enhancing the liver process and aiding in better functioning digestive processes. Your gut is a huge part of the lymphatic drainage process. So when we wanna enhance your lymphatic drainage, we wanna improve your gut health. And dandelion tea is hands down one of the best and most impactful ways for you to do that. And drinking one tea bag a day equals 1500 milligrams of dandelion, which helps enhance bile production and aids in detoxifying your gut. And 
that whole process of moving bowel contents more easily through enhanced bile production actually motivates your lymphatics. So it's a win-win across the board. Number eight is reaching for healthy fats. These are good, healthy fats that promote heart health that are dense in omegas and are better for your metabolic process. Partly healthy fats are anti-inflammatory and they also are supportive of a healthy gut. So those two benefits combined make healthy fats a really powerful lymphatic drainage food group to reach for. Number nine is nettle. I prefer to recommend nettle tea, but nettle is a really great lymphatic promotive herbal. It's been used for centuries and it's really powerful at enhancing lymph flow. Last and final number 10 goes back to number seven, where I was talking a little bit about dandelion tea, but I love to recommend an assortment of fermented foods, things like kimchi and kefir, sauerkraut and beet kvass, and even kombucha. Fermented foods enhance your gut process. The greater your microbiome, the flora, the healthy bacteria levels are, the more balanced not only your gut will be and your immune system, but also promotive of lymphatic drainage. Comment down below and let me know which of these are you taking or eating on a daily basis, which ones do you plan on adding, and maybe which ones you weren't even aware of actually help with the lymphatic process. And if you are interested in learning more in-depth information about how to promote lymphatic drainage within your own body, I'm gonna recommend and share with you a masterclass I've created. It's my patented Let Your Lymph Flow process. My masterclass is an hour long and you will walk away with an assortment, a plethora of lymphatic drainage processes, tips, resources, protocols. My class is unique in that I'm a doctor and I practice functional medicine, which looks at the root cause of illness and disease, where many of my counterparts that are just lymphatic focused, their scope is really isolated and not broad enough to overall support your whole entire lymphatic process and address the assorted systems, body systems, glands, and organs that are needed to promote and enhance the flow to support overall lymphatic drainage and support an enhanced, better functioning, optimal lymphatic system. So if you're interested and you wanna enroll, there's an enrollment button down below where you can gain access instantly to this masterclass. It's life-changing for many of my lymphatic patients that have lymphedema or assorted lymphatic disorders or folks who have greater accumulation of cellulite. They're dealing with weight gain, migraines, hormonal imbalances. They're not sweating like they used to. They're irritable. All of those conditions are signs of a weak, sluggish lymphatic system. So thanks for tuning in and look for next week's video that shares more information on how to promote your lymphatic system. Mm -hmm.